Hi everyone and welcome back to Advanced Higher Biology, Units 1, Key Area 1 and Part E, Microscopy. We are getting towards the end of laboratory techniques for biologists and this sub-key area is very brief, basically just looking at two forms of microscopy and what we use them for. So the first one is something I'm sure you'll have used before in the classroom, we use bright field microscopy. Now, this is essentially just viewing a sample through a microscope and having some sort of light in the background passing through the very thin sample you'll have on the glass slide and obviously the magnification of the microscope is going to allow you to see certain structures. Now, this is used to observe either whole organisms, if they're incredibly small, parts of organisms, or thin sections of dissected tissue in individual cells. So for example, in the bottom right, you can see a bundle of uh, animal cells, probably cheek cells that have been stained that you can view through bright field microscopy. And we also see some uh, plant cells in the image on the left. Now, sometimes if you have a whole part of a, an organism or dissected tissue, it needs to be a thin section because it needs to be thin enough for light to pass through from the background so that you can actually see through them. But this is what we use bright field microscopy for and hopefully you have some experience of using this in your classroom. The other form though is a lot more detailed, it's a lot more expensive, it's a lot more in depth, is fluorescence microscopy. In this process, specific fluorescent labels are used to bind to certain molecules so you can visualize them. So almost like a more in-depth form of when we use certain stains to view cells, you can see in these processes here, you can look at certain molecules or indeed structures and processes within cells or tissues, such as on the right, we can see uh, mitosis taking place in a cell. So this is the form of microscopy you would use if you're wanting to look at within cells or tissues or trying to identify certain molecules because we have these fluorescent labels. And that is all for this key area or sub key area, just the two forms of microscopy. Just make sure you're aware of the processes and what you would use them for. And I'll see you in the next key area. Bye for now.